Hey y'all, so I'm back and today I'm gonna be doing a hygiene video to show y'all how I stay fresh on a daily and the products that I use. So let's get into it. Okay, so I'm going to start off with the products that I use on my face to keep my face clean. So the first product that I use and always use on my face um, is this clarifying charcoal cleanser. This is the generic brand of the Bure um, cleanser. I've never used a real brand. I always just bought this one and I'm pretty sure it was the same. But I've been using this since high school and this is what stopped my acne while well, I actually had acne. I don't really have acne now, but I do have like dry skin problems and uneven skin tones. But this is a staple, so. If you have like combination skin, you should try this. My next soap that I use on my face that I just started using recently in the shower is this soap. I'm pretty sure y'all know what this is. Dr. Um, Bronner's soap. This is the baby one. It's unscented and I use this for my body and my uh, face. It's an all-purpose soap. You can use it for anything you want, but um, yeah, I just take a drop of this and I use it in the shower whenever I'm done showering my body. I'll just wash my face off with this and yeah, this, it works pretty good. It doesn't break my skin out or dry it out or anything. My third soap that I use is um, this soap right here, MB. I'm pretty sure that's how you say it, but um, this is a black people staple. Most black people have probably seen their grandparents have some of this because it's an old people staple, but um, it works. This soap is not really for acne, I don't think. It's more so for uh, dry skin problems, which I do have. So yeah, it's a bar. I wish they had a liquid version because I don't really like the bar too much, but whenever I have bad dry spots, I will use this instead of using the other two soaps because they're probably a little bit too harsh on my skin. So, yeah. Okay, another staple is a good wipe, makeup wipe for your face. These are essential. You don't want to be using, like, um, paper towel or toilet paper to take your makeup off. Get you a makeup wipe. It doesn't have to be expensive. Get you something to that caters to your face and not nothing rough. I also use um, witch hazel on my skin. Not every day though, because I feel like witch hazel is kind of harsh if you overuse it. But um, I normally just use this when I have a breakout or um, I'll use it once a week, even if I don't have a breakout, just to get extra gunk and dirt off my face. But I don't use that daily because it's too strong for me. This right here is another makeup staple. This is cleansing water. And this is good for makeup users because it just melts the makeup off your face. Pretty self-explanatory. It has like oil in it so if your face is sensitive to oil you probably won't be able to use this but it does work and it helps keep um you from using so many makeup wipes another thing that i do whenever i have mascara on i actually i normally would do coconut oil but sometimes i'll put some olive oil on there and it would do the same thing and like wipe off my mascara because i don't want to rip my lashes out so yeah i don't know if that's kind of weird to do but i know people use it um do it with uh coconut oil as well so it doesn't break my skin out plus i do it do this and put this on my lashes and i'll wash it off anyway so not gonna kill me. this right here is what saved my skin i know y'all probably like why are you putting Vaseline on your skin, but moisturizers don't work for me. Like I will put 
regular moisturizers on and they don't tell my skin that I'll still be dry. So I take my Vaseline and I just dip like a finger in, not too much, like a thin layer. And I rub it on my face and it keeps my face supple and it won't be all greasy because I didn't put that much on. So yeah, that's what I do with my face. Okay, y'all, so I'm going to get into dental care. So, this right here is dental floss. These are the picks because I don't like strings because they're hard for me to use. So I just use a pick. And they look like this. I'm pretty sure y'all all seen this. But I just get in between my teeth, get all the gunk out, and... I use two of these. I use one for the bottom, one for the top to floss my teeth. This right here is a water pick. Um, this is like a tool that you put water or you could put like mouthwash in it and you turn it on and it shoots water in your mouth and it gets all the food out of your mouth, but you still need to use a regular floss even though you're using this because this doesn't get in the nitty gritty areas of your teeth it only gets like big debris out of your mouth so keep that in mind the toothpaste that i use is this optic white toothpaste i'm pretty sure everybody's seen this um yeah this i think this has hydrogen peroxide in it but yeah i've been using this for about a year or two this is the matching mouthwash. I put this in my water pick to rinse my mouth out with mouthwash. And um, the toothbrush that I use is an electric toothbrush. I like electric toothbrushes because I feel like they clean better than this typical traditional toothbrush. But that's just me. That's just a personal preference. Um, yeah, the only thing about this, you have to keep buying batteries for this kind. I need to get the rechargeable kind, but yeah, um, it still works. This right here is a lip balm that I like to put on after I brush my teeth. You can't see the writing really, but it's from Shea Moisture. It's really thick and nice, and it doesn't leave that ugly white line on your lips, so... Yeah, I like to do that. And that's all for the dental care. Okay, now we're gonna get into what I do in the shower. So the utensils that I use is a plain old rig. Um, I grew up on rags uh, or towels, whatever you wanna call it, I call it a rig. I just feel like this gets me cleaner than just using a loofah by itself. I use loofahs whenever I use my liquid soaps. And yeah, but I only use this really in the morning time because I take two showers a day. So yeah, but I'm going to start off with the night time, but I do at night. So at night, I use bar soap, old school boss soap this is irish spring uh this the aloe one that's my favorite i like this one and the uh dark blue one is my favorite i think it's called mountain fresh or mountain blast or something like that but this is another old school so this is ivory i don't know if y'all can see that another bar soap that i recently started using and it works good. I like bar soap because I feel like it gets me more clean, especially when I've been outside all day and I've been sweating. I feel like those little cheap body washes that we use, unless it's like Dove or something, don't cleanse you. They kind of just a perfumey smell. It's not really cleaning you, but that's just me. In the morning time, I do just go in with a regular scented body wash because, I mean, technically, I'm clean. I'm just being extra by taking another shower in the daytime. But I'll go in with 
something like this. This is a Caress body wash. This one smells pretty good. Um, you can pick this up anywhere, a dollar store, Walmart, anywhere. I use um, Soft, I think it's called Soft Soap. I use that brand too. Um, some swabs I will use, but yeah, any body wash, I'll wash off with it in the morning time because I want to have a little scent. Uh, so shaving, I have this bougie razor. This is by Joy. I don't know if you can see that, probably not, but this has, I think, five blades on it. Um, sometimes I use men razor if I don't have one right now. This one is from the Dollar Tree and it works just as good. It has five blades and they sell some that have six blades that I use sometimes too. So yeah. For shaving cream, I don't really like using shaving creams anymore. Especially whenever it's time to, you know, maintain your area. I don't like putting shaving cream down there, so I'll use something like this, any soap, because shaving cream, I feel like, irritates my skin. I don't know. I don't know if it really is. I just don't really like it anymore. But yeah, I'll just go in with a soap, lather my body up and shave, or use Nair if I have it. But to keep my feet clean, I use this. This is just like a little foot tool. It has like a brush for your feet, a stone, a file. I don't know why it has something white on it because I don't even use the file. And it has like the, I think it's like a callus remover where you just remove dead skin off your feet. I normally just use it for the brush, nothing else really, but it's good to have. Um, Vagisil is another thing that I use sometimes. I feel like when it comes to cleaning your private intimate areas, I feel like it's best to use hot water or warm water only but if you want to have that extra boost of freshness then go in with a feminine wash but i don't do this all the time i normally do this when it's that time of the month because that's when i feel not the freshest but yeah don't put this on the inside i just take my hands and well my hands together and place it on the outer areas because you don't want an infection we don't have time for yeast infections and bv and all that nasty junk so yeah also i do use this sometimes if i need it but typically i'm a warm water girl and i take another towel and clean that area so yeah Oh yeah, make sure if you do use a towel, use um, different towels for your body and your area if you do plan on using a towel. So yeah, that's what I do in the shower. Okay, now we're gonna get into the last few steps that I do um, when I get out of the shower. So first thing first, of course I'll dry off, but I go in with my deodorant next. I'll either wear this one, which is Suave, the powder kind is my favorite, or I'll go in with something like this, or a men's deodorant if I don't have these two. Make sure you're wearing some type of deodorant because you don't want to be sweating and musty. So make sure you find a deodorant that works for you. The next thing that I like to do is put either an oil or a lotion on. Yes, this bottle looks ratchet because I've had this forever, but this is baby oil. Um, 
after I get out of the shower, I'll put like oil on them because it's quicker and it lasts all day. Or I will go in with something like this. This is a gel and it just makes your skin look better. But be careful of not putting too much on because you don't want to be greasy looking. So yeah. This is Vaseline lotion. This works better for me compared to the Suave lotion I used to use because Suave was not keeping my skin moisturized the whole day. So I started using this and it works. For my feet, I like to use anything really, but lately I've been using this treatment for my feet um, to keep my feet nice and soft. And um, yeah, that's basically all the products that I use. Keep in mind, I don't use all these products on a daily basis. So it's okay to be simple. Like you don't need to use everything that I showed you. This is just what I use to keep me fresh. But really all you need is a bar of soap or a body wash, a loofah or a towel to keep you clean and fresh and like of course like your toothpaste and deodorant and stuff but you don't need thousands of products to stay fresh okay don't think that you need that but the last thing i do want to tell you is um a baby wipe so whenever you use in a restroom and you're not at home you can't just hop in the shower get you a baby wipe so you can stay fresh so yeah, um, that's really all you need to do. This video was to help girls that don't really have that woman figure in their life and they need help with learning how to stay fresh. So yeah, um, do what you gotta do, love. Okay, bye y'all. <laughs>